Praise the Lord. It's a wonderful time again. This time around is Change Life Talk with amazing women of God. I want to thank you for sharing. I want to thank you for inviting your friends. Call somebody up. Share this broadcast. Tell somebody to tell somebody to tell somebody that Change Life talk is on hallelujah and most of all i want to thank you for changing Uh praise god Uh you know what change life talk is all about change life talk is about changed lives we're talking about christians who are born again tongue talking and are ready to walk the talk they are ready to embrace the holy ghost they are ready to be dominated by the power of God. This time around, the Holy Ghost is going to speak to you and you will agree because the Holy Ghost always speaks except you shut him up. He's very quiet. He comes subtly. He says, don't do that. Don't wear that dress. Go this way. He gives direction. And there are some people who are fully embraced the dominion of the Holy Ghost. And that's what Change Life Talk is all about. Making deliberate decisions, intentional choices, picking them and dropping some, leaving Egypt behind, leaving the cucumbers of Egypt and walking towards the promised land. There's a promised land ahead of us and there are so many people that we need to bring on board. God is believing in you, child of God, that you will take that decision. You will take that, you will make that choice so that someone else will read you as a Bible. Therefore, in the studio here with me, I have three amazing women of God. They are people who I met in When Women Pray. They came in as raw materials. But I tell you the truth, God is making them into vessels of honor. And right here in the studio, sitting by my left hand side, is this amazing, amazing woman of God. I want to read her profile. She is a seasoned HR professional and a business coach. And that's true. The author of the best-selling book, The Persistent Woman, overcoming 20 years of rejection. And she is the founder of BI Empowerment Initiative, an NGO that empowers women and children in slums in Lagos. I'm a part of it. And so I understand what this woman is doing. It's a great work, a great assignment. She's a, she's married to a handsome bobo, and they are blessed with two amazing boys. She's the assistant resident pastor of WWP Lagos One. I want you to meet Pastor Tokumbo Fashora. (laughs) Thank you so much, Ma. I'm so excited to be here, really. And I'm really, truly excited to be here with Mm. these amazing women. And by the way, you all look beautiful. Oh, thank you. (laughs) You look amazing. You know, for me, this, I I love this talk show. It's something that I'm even actually passionate about. I like Mm. it when I hear people's stories, Mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. It it, it shows that it's real Mm -hmm. and it's practical, Mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. Unlike, you just say, don't do this, don't do that. You shouldn't do this. But you know, when you share from your from your own story, or you 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 share other people's stories, people people are able to learn because people they are know able that to relate. Absolutely, yes. because it's mm-hmm. real. It's mm-hmm. real mm-hmm. life, mm-hmm. and I guess that's one of the things that attracted me to when we met. Pray, wow. you know, it wasn't all that we go to church now. We hear all the um, all the exactly. <laughs> Sometimes those things are too technical. Mm-hmm. But you know, when you break it down. You break it down to everyday life. Mm-hmm. I think that's one of the things that attracted me to when we pray. Oh, wow. And you know, funny. <laughs> you all don't want to know how I got into when we pray. Mm-hmm. You know, I'd always known 
Pastor Opie then, it was <laughs> Sister Opie then, we did start together. Yes. So we used to attend the same house fellowship. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I remember her then, she, there was something about her, mm-hmm. you know, she would always ask me. Then I was waiting for a child for, I waited about five years. Five fact, years. It's, my baby is a WWE testimony, that's mm-hmm, the truth. Yeah, mm-hmm. I waited about five years and, you know, she would always come and say, have you... I was in your husband's you birthday now. Yes, exactly. <laughs> it, was, it, was at the, it was at the party that, you know, everybody ate and left. You... You did something different that nobody had ever done before. Mm. You were like, okay, please, can we pray? You mm. can imagine we're at the party, so we, are, we had to search for it. <laughs> <laughs> we now had to stop the party. You know, we prayed. But, you know, that's one of the best things that have happened to mm. me. Because it was, I, the declaration she made then was, it was just as she made it. Mm. And I conceived and you know, the, the, the painful part or the amazing thing is that, you know, we've been going to all the hospitals and everything. I don't even, that story for now, that maybe change the life series. I don't want to go into that story because, you know, I had so many fake doctors. I went through so many invasive procedures and stuff like that and all that. And then this woman got into my house mm. <laughs> and then she made this declaration and that was it. And I conceived. So back to my change life story. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So. You know, she will always ask me that. I, I knew when, when women pray started. Mm. And you know my sister-in-law, remember? Yes, she was there. Yes. And I would see her. She would make juice. She would happily... One day I called her and said, come. <laughs> you people in that fellowship, you are jobless. <laughs> because I can't understand how on a Tuesday morning, hey. when people are going to work, <laughs> to make money, you people are going for fellowship. <laughs> I was stupid. <laughs> I was totally stupid. Oh my because God. the truth is, you know, there's, like, there's, we don't have so much time. There are other people here. Mm-hmm. I, the truth is, when the problem came, mm. I was comfortable. I had a good job. I walked into Wonder Place myself to pick my own official car. If I imagine brand new, mm. babe, I could travel anywhere I wanted in the world, you know, everything was going on I thought that was all there was to life mm. you know even though somehow I had mm, unrest something you know, there was a vacuum. vacuum and then aside that I knew I was a mess mm. I was compromising a lot in workplace and mm. all that so I knew I, you know when you just use all those things handbag clothes travel and all those things to cover up mm. but, but whenever I go to sleep at night I knew that there was something missing and then it was at the point where my marriage was about to crash mm. I knew that babe <laughs> you will lose everything mm. if you know what's good for you you go and start looking for good ah, I asked they, myself they, what would I find they, good they, 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 and you know the funny thing eh, was I thought I was born again. Mm. <laughs> well, I'm born again. I've been born again since I was 10 years old. Mm. Going you know, to church. Oh. Yes, so taking in talks. So. Compromise is doing all sorts of rubbish. Hey, you ask me, am I born again? I'll tell you I'm born again. Uh-huh, no. You know, I now stay looking for God. And then I remembered Sister OP. Mm. And I remember that fellowship yeah. my sister in law used to go. Mm. And then I, I remember the saints. I sent her a message. She had moved to Abuja. Mm. I told her that, please, man. I, I told her what was happening and everything. She prayed with me and sent me some Bible passages and sent me the address of the place in Lagos. Mm. And I remember that day I walked in. There's no time I would have loved to share how for many nights I wouldn't sleep unless I take video. Mm. Oh, yes. I wouldn't be able to sleep. I suffered. Hey, I was a bad woman. Mm. You see this in my mouth. Before my husband would talk one, I've talked twenty hundred. Are you seeing? I, I I was bad. <laughs> I don't even blame the man. <laughs> like <laughs> even if he wanted a divorce. My God, I'm mad. I was bad, and I would keep malice. Hmm. We would keep malice to be in that house for two weeks. No talking. No talking. And you know the funny thing was that Pastor, oh, I couldn't sleep. Oh Jesus! I have to take very long to sleep. And then this man will be strong. Mm. Oh, I suffered. <laughs> I suffered. But you know, at the end of the day, when I came into when women pray, hmm. the Holy Spirit, you know, I, I remember that first meeting with Pastor Tammy. Mm. I just burst into tears in the middle of the meeting mm. because it was like she was talking to me. Mm. Everything, it was like she had seen me in a dream mm. and they had shown her my picture and everything about me. And she was just talking, and I was just crying. I was like, what is this? What is this? You know, and I, I was crying in the middle of the fellowship. She now came to meet me. I know. Yeah. 
chip, chip. I held her, I cried. And then after the fellowship, I opened up to her. She now prayed for me. She prayed for me. I felt like a heavy load, heavy okay. load leave mm. my body. Wow. Let me even get back to, you know, when the problem came, you see how the job, all the guy, everything. I don't, I started, I, I remember that day I called the PA to the MD. I was like, can you meet me in Ikoi? And I remember that day I handed over everything. I didn't even say anything to him. He just met me. It was a Sunday. I will never forget. I dropped everything. I was like, what's this? What's this? What's this? Tokumo? I just started running. You know when you are running for your life? Mm. I started Jesus. running. Running. I was running towards Obalinde to go and catch a bus or something. You know? I, I, you know when you just want to move on, leave the past, and just, you know, start a new life and everything? And I was truly afraid. I think why I held on so much for so long was I was afraid that that was all I had to my life. Mm. That, you know, my life wouldn't be better. I wouldn't, but that's all you know now. Yeah. It's amazing what God has done in my Hallelujah. life. Oh, it's amazing. It's amazing. That's all. Oh, I will not lie to you and to everyone that is watching. I cannot, a lot of women look at me today and say, oh, I wish I were like you. Oh, I wish, because of all what, by the grace of God, mm -hmm. that I, I have been through. I wrote a book, I, I authored the book, The Persistent Woman the persistent Overcoming woman. 20 Years of Rejection. Mm -hmm. If you read my story, nobody can believe that I can be the woman, not that I am, that I am becoming, because mm -hmm. I, I haven't even ah, and all that. Mm -hmm. I have to stop here so I can learn. Oh, <laughs> your so, story is... Amazing. Oh, inspiring mm. i tell you the truth you know your story really hits me you know one of the things you said is leaving everything some people now believe some christians believe that when you you are successful in christianity is when you have the car mm. you have the she had the husband correct bobo she had a good job she had the car she had the children are you listening to me but there was a vacuum yeah. There's somebody out there that she's ministering to. You think that God has forgotten you because you don't have a car mm -hmm. or a child or a husband? That's not it. I would like to cheat this in. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you know that I thought I was sincerely born again? Mm -hmm. It was when I got into where we may pray and I found out that the Holy Spirit began to shed some things away from my, you know, those things that I would long to do, want to do, you know, desire to do. I wasn't interested anymore. And it was at that point I realized that, oh, it is now that I am really born again. You know, it was like I became born again. Again. I remember the day my husband looked at me and said, ah, it's like you are now born again. Wow. And you know, I looked at my mind, I was like, was I not born again? <laughs> because I, I just totally, I totally changed. Oh my God. Yeah. Wow, thank you, Pastor Tokumbo. Your story, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean. Well, I want to introduce this beautiful, beautiful woman at my right hand side here. She finished from the University of Ibadan and studied educational management, currently a professional event planner. She's married to Mr. Yomi, Tori, Tori Miro, and a mother of three amazing children. She is the, assist, the resident pastor of WWP International Ibadan 2. Thank you so I want you to meet... Pastor Omotunde, I love her too much. Thank you. So much. <laughs> I'm so excited to be here. Wow. Me coming in contact with when women pray mm. has really changed my life. Hallelujah. I the day I came into when women pray. Glory to God. Glory to I God. I want to talk about my life from the start. Mm. Mm. In mm. my marriage, there has not been any issue. I'm a woman that loved my husband so much. Mm. We worked together. And all of a sudden, it was promoted mm. to the next level. Mm -hmm. And I refused to let him go. Hey. I began to monitor him. I began to check his phone. Mm. I began to do things I was not doing before. Mm. Just because I was feeling insecure. Oh, and the that's the word. With my mind. That's mm. the word. And my husband was very angry with me. At every time, he would ask me, this is not the woman I am. Ah, this is happening. I keep telling him there's something he must be doing. 
when any phone rings, who is this, who is that? Mm. Then a dear friend of mine looked at me and she told me, there's a prayer meeting. Let's go together. Mm. The of God. Mm. And I followed her there. And when I got there immediately, I knew I was in the right place. Wow. And that was the beginning of the new thing in my life. Hallelujah. I had the preaching. It was as if they viewed me that day. Mm. They said so many things about everything I was doing. Pastor o was talking about stop checking your husband's phone, hand over the man to the Lord. I had about so many things that I need to work upon. Mm. And that day immediately I was broken. Mm. And I made up my mind that I'm going to put that marriage into the hands of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Immediately when he Hallelujah. came back home that weekend, I gave him a warm reception. Hmm. Welcome him well. He was looking at me. Mm. This is my wife. <laughs> wow. I did so many things that I had and gradually began to watch me. Things he does before, he will intentionally do it to see what my reaction mm -hmm. will be. That, um, do you know that's true? That's yeah. what they do. Yeah. They want to they check. check. Yes. <laughs> he did not understand. It's real. It's real. <laughs> I was telling him I had come yeah. in contact mm -hmm. with a place where a life of every woman that goes would change. Hmm. I changed my ways. I was deliberate. Masikiti. It was not easy, but with the help of the Holy Spirit. It is not, it was, it's not easy. Hmm. Everything worked to the extent that when his phone rings, I don't want to know who is calling. Hmm. Because I don't want that to be a genesis of another new faith. Hmm. Hmm. So I was focused on the Lord. And you know, the Bible says, it says, seek ye first the kingdom of God. That is it. And every other thing will be added. I realized I've been Including mm. a peaceful home. Mm. <laughs> I realized I've been suzoing. Mm. Daily I took charge of my home. I began to pray. I began to love him. And I began to do the things I'm supposed to do mm. right now. Oh, I to change. Mm. I began to change. Mm. At the end of the day, he called me. He said, I've been experiencing some change in your life. What has been happening? We sat down and we settled things amicably. Mm. What my fear was. And he told me that was not it, which I believed. Mm. And from that moment, and with the word I've been hearing, I know there's only one person Mm. And I keep a marriage. Malika the I got that revelation and I gave him my marriage. Maseke I was no longer worried. Mm. So I began to follow the Lord. <sighs> and I realized that as I was growing in when we men pray, as I was changing and following the Lord, my husband was following me. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. I yeah, yeah, yeah. seeing him, I began to, to see. see him. Mm. There's one thing he told me, he used to tell me, he said, ha. Ah, Thank God for when we men pray. Wow! So if it's only for this, this peace, I'm enjoying at the My place. God. The peace of the Lord came on my home. Mm. It came on my relationship and everything started working right. Mm. And immediately I got my husband, I got my home. I began to work on my spiritual life. Mm. I began to affect other women. Mm. I began to give my friends assurance that, is the thing. that there's nothing God cannot do. Hey. It looks so simple to them. Mm. It even looks stupid. Mm. You tell me you will not monitor, you will not check. I tell them, I said, keep checking. Mm. Keep monitoring. Mm. See where you will land yourself. But there's somebody that can keep, can check, Hallelujah. and can monitor. Hey, Kalabo, shut up. And just add it. The one that has, does not sleep, sleep nor slumber. slumber. Hmm. Why don't you make up your mind and just hand over your marriage um. to God? I've spoken to so many women, many of my friends, we did so, and we've been enjoying diverse testimony. In our, Hallelujah. our husbands, they began to change mm. without free stress, no mm, 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 respect them and do the right thing mm. they are supposed to do Hallelujah. as a woman. Hallelujah. I am Hallelujah. telling you, it is, it is. I'm telling you, Pastor Omo, I'm so blessed by your story and I believe that somebody out there is watching and saying, ah, can I actually hand up my marriage over to God? Mm. Yeah. Are you sure I should not walk it? <laughs> you know the part I like the most about her story is mm. the part that she's able to affect the lives Life of her people. friends. Yes, and other okay. women. Absolutely. It, it's, other women. It's just amazing. It's amazing. It's amazing. a lot of women, you know, they're... 
have those issues. Mm. You know, mm-hmm. and, you know, it's not something that they express and all that. And you know, if you're able to do this, uh, you you inspire many other women. Those ones too will inspire affect other people. Others. And I was you know, before you influence, influence them, them. because mm-hmm. we have things we discuss before, mm-hmm. and yeah. when I meet them again, I the I discussion change. change. Yeah. Yeah. Come on now, come on now. Yeah. Even after the time. <clears throat> That we discussed and we handled the fight in less yeah. than a week. My husband bought me a, an Hyundai G. Hey! Oh <laughs> 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 Somebody <laughs> here, <laughs> here, or <laughs> Israel. That time, <laughs> if I remember, they were asking me, What did you do? <laughs> <laughs> I said, oh my I don't goodness. Know. <laughs> <laughs> but that means that you became a jolly woman. I'm supposed to enjoy. Yeah, yeah. I'm telling you. This, it was something that they were part of. And yeah. saw the change when yeah. she lived yeah. and the follow and he did the same. No. Do you know one thing no. WWE is will. Is mm. will. There's mm. one thing WWE does because mm. I remember as well, just like you, you shared, my friends, those of us, my, my school friends that we always go for birthday parties together mm-hmm. and all those things together. Mm. When we come together, we always complain about our husbands, gossiping, mm. doing all sorts of nonsense uh, 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 and everything. When my life changed, when I got there, when they were complaining, I'm like, okay, shut up, shut up. <laughs> I now say, you know, sharing my experiences Your with test- them. Mm-hmm. Yes, I start sharing my testimony, and I just noticed something. You all keep quiet and listening to me. Yeah, that was yes. that was what happened. And then before I realized it, I realized that they started calling me. Yes, yes. They started calling me secretly, yes. sharing yeah. their stories. Yeah. Yeah. Then I started canceling them, mm. and then I realized that all the gossip. Whenever Tokumbo is there, no more gossip. Mm. And, all that. and before you realize it, you begin to win those women to Christ. Because when what you're telling them is working, okay. you know, they know that there's something. There's something. There's this, something. And, and that's it. Yeah. I, it it's, just, it, it's just amazing. Oh, Tokumbo, you know, you said something that I want to tell somebody out mm. there. You said, when I'm around, the gossip dies. You know, there are some of you, when you are around, they are still doing rubbish things. They don't believe your Christianity. Mm-hmm. They don't even know. Somebody around you is using the F word. Somebody around you is gossiping, talking anyhow. They should respect your presence. Mm-hmm. That some a carrier of Jesus is around. So you're not, they're not supposed to say this thing because that is a sign that you have changed, that you are different. We need to stand out. The Bible says, let your light mm, so shine, shine mm-hmm. that men will see and give your father glory. Absolutely. Mm. Ah, yeah. Let me introduce Hallelujah. one more amazing woman, <laughs> beautiful woman that I want to introduce right here. She read, learned, survey from Auchi Polytechnic at those states. She's a fashion designer and a farmer. A rich one. <laughs> <laughs> Married to Honorable Olumide Ali and they are blessed with two lovely Ajibota children. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> She's also the coordinator, the pastor in charge of WWP Ibadan One. She has done an amazing job. I want you to help me meet Pastor Pat Ali. Thank you so much, Pastor. <laughs> you know, um, I just love you. You know, the first time I met you, I was just connected uh-huh. because, um, you know, I've been a church girl. I mm. love God right from, you know, when I was young. Mm. And then coming to WWP, you were talking about forgiveness. And then I had this woman I, I, I was holding in my heart, mm. the prayer group I used to be because, you know, I, I'm just on fire. Mm. You know? I love to pray. And then, <laughs> then my husband would call me pastor. Whenever I was going to be a pastor, wow. he called, when I'm praying, he would just pass me and say, Pastor Pat. Hey, <laughs> we're 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 yes. Pastor Pat. You know? And so, and, you know, he, he so much loved me. We, we were in yeah. you for nine years. Mm. We got married and, you know, was always pampering me. And then in that fellowship, I was enjoying it and I was, you know, very loyal. And then something happened. Hmm. Bam. I was hot. And so I was ready to go and beat up <laughs> the visionaire. <laughs> yeah. You know, when I told my husband, you know, people can't yeah, believe it because I, I look so gentle. So gentle and, yeah. you know, but I'm always on my own. Uh-huh. Hmm. So that day, I met her. I wanted to eat her with my car. I was driving. She was driving too. And then she was driving. And I called my husband and said, hey, 
I've seen this woman, I want to hit her, let me revenge. If I eat her, my car gets spoiled. Darling, are you going to repair my car? <laughs> and my husband was like, I will, I will. I would go. I never asked him for such a thing before. And then because of his love for me, he wanted me yeah. to satisfy my passion. <laughs> so while I was just going to do that, another friend of mine called me because we were in the fellowship Your together. Your phone just rang. Rang. I said, Pat, where are you? I said, I've seen this woman. I want to eat. I want to do this. He was like, calm down. Farah Bale. Hey. Leave this woman. I said, you don't, I should leave her. Okay, let her go. But we we'll plan another day where we'll go and meet her. <laughs> and then that's, you know, left. After that scene, I remember I relocated pastor with my children. I was staying in the UK. Mm. But while I was there, I was not fulfilled. Mm. On the street of UK, something was calling me back to Nigeria. Mm. Mm. I was going to church. I will preach. You know, I was doing things I'm supposed to do for God, but I was yeah. not fulfilled. Mm. My husband wanted me to stay there. No, I was not working, pastor. He was sending money. The only thing I do, go to the ATM, withdraw money, and then enjoy myself with the children. Mm. At a point, I told him, I'm coming back home. And I remember one of the things he told me. He said, a lot of women are looking for this opportunity. You want to come back? Come back. So I came back, and I met when men pray. Wow. So when I came, because of, you know, the passion, I saw pastor talking about a woman hungry for God. Kalabala. Mm. I knew God orchestrated my journey to WWP because he wanted me to go deeper. Mm. He wanted me to go deeper. I came to learn. And one of the messages I had pastor preaching, pastor, you know, in most of your stories mm -hmm. are my stories. Wow. Even earlier this morning, wow. when you were talking about you saw God frowning at you, I was crying because it happened to me, you know. And so... She said, there's a particular way her husband like food to be prepared. I said, this woman is talking to me again. Mm. I am from Edo State, married to a Yoruba, an Ibadan man. Mm. And you know, a way do and um, stew and all yeah. that. For my place, I'll cook, make the stew very thick. Yeah. And my husband does not like very thick stew. And so he was always complaining that I don't know how to cook. Yet his friends will come to the house, eat food. And tell me, ah, Pat, you're such a good cook. Mm. And then this man was not appreciating what I was doing. Ah. And so when Pastor said that, I said, there must be a way. Mm -hmm. This man mm -hmm. wants me to cook the food. Mm. I said, there Ma, must be a way. I came to Ibadan, I watched their cook, the way they were cooking. It was, it was not something special. Yeah. You know, the Yoruba call the cook moyo, very watery so, yeah. and you know, the way do and the amala. Yeah. I learned it. Pastor, I went back to Abuja. Hmm. I will make my own stew very thick, mm -hmm. make his own the way he wants. And so when I served him that day, my husband said, hey, hey, now you know how to cook. Hey! <laughs> now you know how to cook. Oh and then after God. I finished eating, oh my God. I looked and said, Pastor, oh, God bless you where you are. Maleta, yata. And then I started getting deeper, deeper. Pastor, WWP is a place where when you come, hmm. Your mess becomes a message. -la 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 and then you become an influencer. Mm. You know, God calls you, change you, and use you for other people. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's yeah. what WP that has done it. to me, that Pastor. Is That's is yeah. And you know, I kept learning, mm. coming every day. There was an occasion I was in the bathroom. I, I, I know how to kneel down for my husband because I learned the Yoruba culture. Mm. I wanted a good marriage. I know I've calculated the kind of, you know, what I wanted and I was having it. Mm. Me, myself, and my husband. No outside part. Mm, mm, mm. That was the life I was living. Mm. I never knew God was training me so that he can use me. Also, the most amazing thing is not knowing that God will train me in Abuja, mm. bring me back to Ibadan, mm. where I never wanted to be. I remember crying so much in your office, office. Pastor. Ah, I cried. It was I like remember that it, it was like my wings were cut off. <laughs> Where do I start? I went to Ibadan like Abraham. God called out, mm. not knowing what to do when yeah. I get to Ibadan. <laughs> and Pastor, we had challenges. You know, you know, it's so funny. Oh, Jesus. My story mm -hmm. coming to WWP was when we were facing challenge. I, 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 I didn't have you know, problems before. But, you know, God wanted me to leave those things. In Abuja, we, ha we were having cars. Sometimes the car would take to school to drop my children in the morning, even from the one I'm going to use to pick them in the afternoon. And then at that point, things just went, bam. Jesus, wow. have mercy. 
kept praying. Jesus Why? Jesus. Because one day, pastor was saying, there is a woman that you need to go back to your estates. Karas, go and you. shout because there's something. And you know one thing, pastor, when you say a woman, I see myself in it. Mm. And that was what helped me, the connection. Mm. I see myself in a woman. So when pastor is ministering, whatever she asks, I will go and do it. Mm. And so I prayed in my estate. No, no, you know, there was something about this estate in Abuja Covenant Garden. When you come, no matter how big you are, you will just go down. Bam. My Jesus. Ah, so that was what happened to us. The farm, we lost the farm. So many things happened. Women need to be sensitive. Bro. Yes, Pastor. Because I was directly working with my husband and we were working together. And then there were things I learned how to dance, dancing, warfare. Mm. How to shout, you know that hey, 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 hey. Mm, 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 so I was doing it, and things were getting bad. That was when we got the direction to travel to Ibadan. Mm. Pastor, WWP is a place to be. When you come, you see yourself naked. Mm. Every Tuesday, some things cut down, and then you pick up a new thing. Absolutely. One of the scriptures that helped me, you know, part of the day, the, 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 the day I wanted to go and revenge was Second Timothy two twenty four. Mm. While I was when you say. The Lord's servant must not be quarrelsome. I said, mm. God, you are not talking to me. <laughs> Jesus oh is Lord. Everything is in the Bible, Lord. Oh, like, <laughs> the Lord's <laughs> servant <laughs> must not be quarrelsome. Hey, you must so be direct. I'm telling you. A woman that endure evil. Yeah. Mm. Enduring evil. <laughs> Correcting his opponents, I will remember very correcting his opponents with gentleness. Jesus. First of all, I had to wear gentleness. Mm. That's why when I say these are the things I've done in the past, I don't look like. You don't look like. I don't look like. I had to put on gentleness as a coat mm. so that I can reach others. So when I see people misbehaving, I'll just be laughing. I've been in these shoes. Mm. They are calm, quietly, softly. I'll just minister to you. Mm. And that's the change life. Because I've been changed. Uh, 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 um, so many times, you know, when you were talking about um, the condition of the arts, on Thursday I was still telling my people hey. about how the arts can affect a lot of things. And especially this month of worship. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Your character mm. is your worship. Mm. And one of the things God told me this year was loyalty. Pastor, mm. loyalty is worship. I'm telling you. Mm. Your faith is you. worship. Mm. Your patience, one of our core values, patience is worship. Mm. Your sacrifice is worship. Is worship. You know, in when women pray, I've learned to give my all. Mm. When I was giving before, <sighs> I can give 30, 30 percent. <sighs> because I want to, I don't want to suffer. Mm -mm, I want yeah. to keep and say, okay, let me enjoy. Mm -mm, but mm. now I've so broken. By God's grace and mercy, that I can give my all in. You know, this morning when Pastor was talking about giving, everything I had in my account, mm. Jesus, Jesus, because I know what it has done for me. Oh, yeah. One of the things that happened to me recently, oh, Pastor, as a result of sacrifice, one day I sacrificed everything I had in the mm. account. Mm. The following day, the Spirit of God motivated me to pray, and I just was praying and I told my husband, "Agree with me." Masticated. My younger ones will not die. None of my family will die. While I finished praying, Pastor, my younger brother had an accident. Jesus. But nothing happened. Uh. So, you know my story, my younger sister in Abuja. Yes. You know, we, we, the, the way we were trained, we were trained to love God. Mm. But I didn't know there is another side, a deeper, you know, deep, Pastor says, yeah. deep collect unto them. Mm. That mm. was what God brought me to do in WWP. Mm. Mm. My younger one, my, my darling, she's doing fine in WWP, testimonies. Change life. This is some a lady I told come to WWP. She said, Women, I'm not interested. <laughs> I had to hand over her over to Pastor Offer and Pastor T. Oh, look and at her. Look at her. Look at her. I look at her. I meet. My She's children, a beautiful woman of God. <laughs> myself and my children will preach WWP. Sometimes my husband is a politician. Mm. As a politician, he calls people and says, See, there's one thing I did about my wife. <laughs> God answers our prayer. Mm. So, you will tell them to come and meet me. Thank you. It's amazing what WWP has done wow. to me. And then, you know, those words, Pastor O has some words <laughs> that she will just say. 
zuzuing. Mm. Don't zuzu. <laughs> I'll pick them. She will say, be deliberate. Mm. Mm. My marriage, my assignment. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. I began to work on my marriage. Mm. Yes. By the Holy Ghost. Mm. Mm. By the Holy Ghost. My relationship with my husband became so deeper. Mm. You know, sometimes respect was so difficult for me, Pastor. Mm. Not because um, I don't know how to respect, but sometimes something will tell me, on oh, Ibadan, guy, will you come and handle or my do? That that hey, thing, you know. My yeah. devil, devil. Mm. <laughs> and so he on, on the other side, or more bad walking mm. back. Hey. You know, he wants to WWP. Make me to be very ah. submissive. And when I had to go, you know, another thing about God, when God gives you a word, He gives you the meaning. Yeah. The day Pastor Paul was talking about submission, I went back and this way told me submission is foolishly follow. I know Pastor used to say it, foolishly follow. There are times Pastor will say, don't say those words the way they are. I used to be like that, Pastor. It's amazing. Mm. Sometimes I want to explain things to my too much explanation. Mm -hmm. I love him so much that I never wanted him to make mistakes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so one day, Pastor was <laughs> preaching. Pastor said, There is a woman here. You love your husband so, so much. And he has turned you to a nagging woman. Mm. Leave him. Let him make mistakes. Mm. It was like a veil <laughs> was removed from me. Hmm. And I got home, I kept quiet. It would be pain inside me. I told him, this guy, it was like, I love him so much. He shouldn't make mistakes. He shouldn't make mistakes. You start, you start doting on him. Yes, you Pastor. Like you start mother. smothering him. Yes, you like become like his mother. mother. And when you smother him, oh my God. He loses. He doesn't see you as a sweetheart. No, 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 no. He sees you as a mother. As a mother. <laughs> And so, so, that I learned, is mm, mm, kind of, um, so I learned that, and today, you ask me, so, you know, it's so sweet to serve God. I'm enjoying okay. God, Pastor. You don't, okay. I, I don't know how to tell you. I have testimonies, mm. loads of testimonies in my personal life. And most times, my testimonies are spiritual testimonies, Pastor. Wow. Yeah. Because um, um, I'm not serving God because of the things I want to get anymore. Mm -mm. You have seen them now. I've seen them. Ah. I'm serving oh, Rishi, God because Rishi. of what he wants to do with my life. Absolutely. And I'm still hungry. Yeah. Ah, Jesus. Wanting to go deeper. Yeah. Deeper. Yeah. Sometimes, also in Ibadan, when we do our money prayer on Tuesday, by the time we finish talking, and then the day we connect, it's like, I'm seeing your notes. Jesus. Wow. It's amazing the connection. And that's why I don't joke with it. Pastor, you are a darling. You, are, mm. you, are, you know, sometimes I I I I I was just telling one of our pastors, mm. Pastor Buki, I said, I only listen to two people on earth. I don't listen to too many voices. Mm. I listen to Pastor O and I listen to my pastor. Mm. Pastor, you are a mother. I mean, there was a day this week told me that you are more than a pastor to me. And I remember I, I sent you a test. Yeah. I said, Pastor, you are my mother. Mm. Also, mm. is a mother. One of the things is she's passionate about you changing. Mm. Mm. She taught me how to be patient with people. You know, sometimes, Pastor, what they were saying it today that, ah, it's only pastor that can be a pastor with the things I've seen. Mm. But I learned them from you, ma. Mm. Pastor can give you time, even though you are misbehaving. Mm -hmm. She knows that there's no life that cannot be salvaged. Yeah. Those are the things, those are your words. They ring mm. in my ears every day. Sometimes I, I see pastor in my dream. You know, WWP is a place to be. Mm. And when you connect and get a hold of God, <laughs> you give it That's out. It. We are yes. life givers. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Women are life we givers. We dispense. We dispense yeah. life. Life. Give life. Yeah. Custodians of Custodians life. Custodians of life. These are your words, Pastor. Mm. And those words <laughs> have made me. Wow. Hallelujah. Wow. Hallelujah. 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 <laughs> so inspiring. I'm telling you. you know, the I'm telling amazing you. thing about what she said is, mm. you know, when we change, mm -hmm. we find out that our lives begin to change other people. That is it, no. So we begin to change other people. Yeah, just, like, you know, there's somebody watching out there now. God is waiting for you to change because there are so many lives that are connected to you. Mm -hmm. There are so many people that will listen to you. There are so many people that are watching you. You're standing in front. They need to see you change so that others can change. You have an assignment, but you are just being stubborn to the Holy Ghost. He's saying, don't do this here. He said, please, 
Let me go ahead and do it. Don't wear that clothes. You say, no, please, I want to wear. You want to be stubborn to your husband. You don't want to answer it. No, I don't know who is this person I'm talking to. But God needs your attention. Mm -hmm. You are not sitting in front of this um, set watching for watching sake. It was orchestrated by eternity that you will be here today watching these amazing women share their life stories. It's not a waste. Their stories are not a waste. These women have become influencers, influencing thousands of people, yeah. touching lives. When you hear Tokumo share her story, there's no way you won't be blessed. I've seen her. She has mind-blowing testimonies. Mm -hmm. You know, from someone who was, you know, who, who, who they told that you will not amount to anything. Ah, I'm becoming, she's still becoming because, yeah. you know, international companies have contacted her, you know, for her to do jobs for them. Child of God, there's nothing God cannot do. There's nothing God cannot do. That thing you are believing God for, he can mm. still do it. Some people are saying that if, if I change, eh, will I have to drop this? Will I have to drop this? Yeah, to Kumbo story. She dropped. Cow, she dropped. I, can I say something? Yes, you know, I yeah. remember there was a time I, I, I went to Dublin with my husband. Mm. You know, this talking about you can use your life. You are the Bible mm, mm. that people will read. Yes, Many yes. people might not read the Bible, but mm -hmm. when they see you, yeah. they are changed. Mm -hmm. And when I got there, we traveled and we were to stay in the hotel and my husband met his friend and the friend said, let's come to his house. Mm. So when we got there, you know, women think, they, her husband didn't tell her that we are visitors coming. were coming. And so she got yeah. angry. She stayed in front of the house. They are not coming in. So when they come, yeah. we're, we're looking at her. Mm. And after a while, after much argument, they called us in. When we got in, she gave us food. I ate. But there's something I did. I was led. I packed everything, the plates, got to her kitchen, met plates, the pastor, I washed them, all mm. the plates, mm. wow. swept her kitchen, and then she has these beautiful children, twins. I beat them. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> and so the following morning, when I woke up, I was cleaning the parlor, mm -hmm. I was doing the house chores, and then I told her, I have children too in Nigeria, let me, you know, help you out with the children. Mm -hmm. And after I finished, she was cooking, I was with her, and we were cooking, and she just said, I'm sorry for yesterday. Oh. I said, it's okay, I understand. I'm a wife too. I remember those days, my husband would just call me, Pat, I'm <laughs> coming home coming. with my friends. <laughs> they are 16. Jesus! Cook for them. <laughs> After, I would tell him, not me. My husband would say, when I go to get home, I will know whether it's you or not. And we dropped. And then Magdalene will call me and say, Pastor, hey, Pat, we know what to do. Come, 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 let's do it. And we'll fix it. So I, I understood what happened. Mm. And then she opened up to me. Pastor, she was ready to divorce her husband. In fact, she, has seen it. she was seeing a lawyer at that time. Jesus. And then because of that little act, she didn't My expect goodness. it. And then she opened up to me. Ma, we settled them. And today she had that third baby. Wow. wow and then they are wow. doing fine. Oh, How father, God can use our lives. Father, Father. You know, Pastor, the beautiful thing about the hey, baby, Peter, we are the God. expression. That is of God. We are the, the expression. expression of God. We extend. Yaka bonde riba suda gambia. Job, you know, God breaks you. I'm telling you. He breaks you to make you. And I'm like, you know, he's we, we, we recognize God as the potter. <laughs> we are the clay. Mm -hmm. We are like, Father, I surrender. Mm -hmm. Break me. Mm -hmm. Mold me. Mm -hmm. Tell you. Make me and use me. Mm -hmm. So sometimes it's not like you don't know what to say. Mm -hmm. And they're insulting you and you are looking. Mm -hmm. You know, when you know the truth is that at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. You have one, so. You have one. And then you affect our children too. Yeah. The pastor, one day my son was looking at me and said, Mommy, I know you. You are a woman of your words. Mm. Pastor, I went back inside. I was asking the Holy Spirit, what did this boy see? Mm. That's big. That's Loud. big. <laughs> she said, Mommy, you are a woman. Ah, you are a woman of it's your It's just words. like one note my son wrote to me, my second son. Mm. I put it on my wall to you today. Mm. Mm. I was counseling a woman. He, I didn't know he was watching me. And I started crying. And he wrote, he said, Mommy, I love you so much. Mm -hmm. 
for a wonderful woman. I cannot choose another mother. Wow. Wow. You have affected me positively. Those words are just there. They are, you see, it's more than two years or so. They are in my wall. Wow. These children are watching. watching. You know, there's somebody watching me out there. Child of God. Don't affect those children negatively. Mm -hmm. Your children are watching you. They are seeing how you are shouting on your husband. Mm -hmm. They are seeing how you are shouting on their father. And they are growing. Mm -hmm. One day my friend told me something. She said, her daughter just came out and said, <laughs> put her on her waist as they're shouting at her brother's names. Come inside now. She said, what is wrong with you? Why are you doing that? I said, mommy, that's what you do. <laughs> I'm you telling you, true. that's what you do. That's, they are watching us. Yeah. So today, I don't know whether somebody has been blessed mm -hmm. by these testimonies. I don't know what to call them because I'm so touched. I'm so mm -hmm. blessed. Mm -hmm. Child of God, it's time for you to make the right choices. Not because, I mean, you don't want to follow your flesh. The Bible says it is the spirit. If you are a spirit-led person, he say you will live. Mm. Mm. The spirit is the life giver. Mm. Not the flesh. The mm. flesh kill it. But the spirit make it alive. Mm. And so in rounding off, I like these amazing women to look into their cameras and talk to somebody. There's somebody watching. Let me start from you, Amotunde. Women, I need to tell you that when you begin to follow God, Mm. The Lord will make you relevant. Mm. When I was fighting for in my marriage, I got it free course on India. Mm. And at that time, when I asked my husband for the document, what is it? He would tell me, you don't, you can't understand. Mm. God wasted that. He would be the one to call me and tell me, please, can you pray for us? Hey. So I was to that document. And we begin to break it down. To make me understand. And just him, don't worry. Then it got to a day that he told me that one um, their workers in office, there was an issue. And they told him, let us call your wife so that she can agree in prayer with us. Hey. And they began to call me. Hey. Those people that Jesus. I was afraid of, I became relevant. Mm. There's nothing, there's no decision they want to make that they will not call me into it. Oh, Jesus. All this yeah. did not just come because I was smart. Or because I had the way I did it, it was because I relied so much on the Lord. That is I it. I put everything in the Lord. When you put everything, be everything before the Lord, it will make your way to be smooth. The Lord helped me. Everything I was looking for in my marriage, I got it. And I was able to focus on the Lord. And spiritually, I was growing. Hallelujah. Physically, I was growing. Hey. And, I the of the Lord is a, mm. and I was able to influence my husband. Now he believes so much in prayers. I was able to influence my family and friends. And to God be the glory. So many women today have been changed. Mm. The Lord has made me a live example, keep something they can see and they can believe in. I just mm. want to tell a woman today. That there's nothing impossible for the Lord. Hallelujah. If only you will give the Lord a try. Mm -hmm. If only you can be hungry for Him. Mm -hmm. If there's something missing in you, mm -hmm. if there's something you are lacking, you need to fill it up with a test for the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Amazing. Amazing. Oh. Thank you so much. Pastor Tukumbo. Well, you may be here and um, you're watching us and you're probably holding on to. I don't know, you may be holding on to something and you know that what you're holding on to is wrong. Mm. The pleasures of life mm. is holding you back mm. Mm. from coming to Christ. Mm. Mm. You're mm. afraid of how your life is going to be if you let go of all those things. Mm. But I want to tell you today, and I'm standing as a testimony, that when you totally let go, mm. and you let God, mm. the sky is... The starting point. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's true. Hallelujah. It's not your limit. It's the starting, starting point. point. Wow. Yeah. Thank you so much. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You know, I just want a woman out there to be deliberate mm. in all you do. That's the word. Your love for God, deliberate. Mm. Your trust in God should be absolute. Mm. You know, Romans um, 10, 11 says, for those 
that put their trust in God, mm. they will not be ashamed. Mm. Let a woman out there put your trust in God because he will not fail you. Mm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He won't fail. He won't fail. Oh, wow. I've had an amazing time with these wonderful women. I've been so inspired, so blessed by their stories, by their personal stories and what God has used them to do or is using them to do because they are still going to reach out to thousands. You know, Caleb said, I was 40, but now I'm 80 mm -hmm. and I can still climb this mountain. Mm. Child of God, these women, even at 80, they'll be winning souls. Yes. Amen. They'll be, Amen. you know, sharing the gospel Amen. with their lives. Amen. And so today, I don't know whether there's somebody out there who is saying, Pastor, oh, pray with me. I'm ready to trust God. Just pray with me. Let me release my trust to God. Can we pray? Father, in the name of Jesus, Amen. I pray for that one out there Amen. who is ready to release his or her faith to God, mm. who is ready to trust in God, Spirit of God, by the power of the Holy Spirit, direct that one, mm. direct this one, mm. in the name of Jesus. Mm. Cover you with the power that is in the blood, the of, blood Jesus. of Jesus. Jesus. Ask for the wherewithal mm. to do all that you have to do, mm. in the name of Jesus. Mm. Mm. Break the hand of the devil over you. Mm. Any distraction from the pit of hell, let it be broken, mm. in the name of Jesus. Mm. I pray for a particular person that your past will not affect your future mm. negatively, mm. in the name of Jesus. Mm. Mm. Thank you, Abba Father. Alleluia. May the Lord heal your mind. May the Lord heal your subconscious Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, my God and Master. Alleluia. For in Jesus' name we are praying. Amen. Let that amen have vitamins. Amen. amen. Thank you for watching. Thank you for sharing. Please keep sharing the broadcast. Keep blessing somebody. And thank you for changing. God bless you. Amen. Have a nice day. Touch the heart.